name is Alisa McCall and I'm with Polar Bears International and sitting next to me is Dr. Andy DeRoche, one of the world's leading polar bear scientists and he was also my graduate thesis supervisor. Andy, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Well, sure. Um, I mean, I'm a professor at the University of Alberta and have been here now for about 13 years. Uh, I've been studying polar bears throughout various parts of the Arctic for over 30 years now. Recent research shows, and we've known for a while too, that the terrestrial food sources simply aren't enough to sustain these polar bear populations. So they really do need that sea ice and the seals as it, prey. It's interesting because you can go back into the late 1500s, uh, Jacques Cartier was coming to North America. And one of the things he noted in his journal was that they were seeing polar bears swimming near Newfoundland, and they were swimming to an island. And the reason they were probably going to that island is there were great auks on that island. And, of course, these are sort of like the northern penguin. Uh, <laughs> they're all extinct now uh, okay. because humans killed the last one. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a common element of polar bear ecology. You can go back through the records hundreds of years. Polar bears have always taken advantage of any food source around them. So whether they're that... Bears. Bears the bears there, yeah. are they're <laughs> opportunistic. You can go to Churchill and see them eating kelp. Yeah. They don't live to eat kelp, they just right. sort of augment their diet off of the blubber of seals. So what they have is this huge energy resource. Ring seals are incredibly abundant, several million in the Arctic. Um, they're everywhere, everywhere where there's sea ice. <laughs> and so of course the bears are exploiting that layer of blubber on those seals and very high efficiency of transfer. So when a bear eats a block of blubber, 90% of that goes right into their own body stores. That's so it's just basically, you have to think of a polar bear like a fat vacuum. They just go <laughs> around, catch a seal, suck off that fat, put it on their own bodies, and then use that fat to go for long periods of time without food. Um, anything that they get on land is just a minimal augmentation of what they get out on the sea ice. Mm -hmm. So they can't replace the seals with what they get on land. It's just, it's, it's like a kid. I mean, you don't want to have them a steady diet of, you know, Smarties or Skittles or candy. I mean, you can yeah. augment your diet, but that's not what They're you make a living on. Yeah. No, and, and it doesn't work. So it's it's kind of like that for, for the bears. They really need those seals, and they can only really get those seals when there's sea ice. Follow Andy on Twitter. You won't be disappointed. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions for Andy, either tweet him or email us at questions at pbears.org, and we'll pass your question on. So thanks, Andy, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.